Hi, some weeks ago I started a series of videos called Stylized Shader in Blender's EV, focusing around the Guilty Gear shader. I want to show you the progress of the main character in this video. If this is the first time visiting my channel and why you may like to follow this series, let me introduce myself. I'm Pierre Schiller, 3D animator and VFX compositor. Check out my recent reel on the upper right card link on this video. I got a 3D production and animation master's degree in Soft Image, which allowed me to know many different high talented and passionate professionals in the CG industry. I've worked producing commercial advertising for many different brands and companies around the world. I've directed VFX teams and filming crews as VFX supervisor. I started professionally in the year 2K, seeing and using the evolution of major compositing and animation packages like Lost Tree, Flame, Nuke, Soft Image, Moto, and others. I became a Blender Foundation Certified Trainer, offering support to individual artists and studios for specialized training. I've also developed educational video games, link in the description. As a technical director, it is my duty to bring complex setups down to simple controllers for the animator. Japan has produced outstanding content using Softimash. Guilty Gear was created using Softimash. Reading all of this content to produce a result is second nature to me and I felt motivated to bring you this character preview which you will be able to customize with your own colors as well as animate her. I posted this progress on many of my social accounts and the response has been outstanding. If you subscribe to my channel or comment on my videos, I immediately try to give you support, so you too can follow along this series. Think of it as a text customer service. So I am really glad when you post difficult questions. This is what motivates me. Whenever you show support to this project, either by linking the video, commenting, sharing it, or even buying the assets. If you can't buy the assets, leaving a positive review for the channel also helps a lot. Go to my community tab and check out the most recent updates. Guilty Gear models cannot be distributed for learning, so I had to start creating a model which would show you how to build the technique they use. I found out that game engines support an average of 50,000 polygons per player. I completed 1,000 hours in different Blender projects from June to November in Steam. With the model, I've done around 80 hours. I am preparing this new stylized shader course in four parts. You can find the first one in the upper right card and in the link in the description. The texturing part, which is key to this look, has all been done using the new texturing tools in Blender 2.8. When you move the light, the shaders will react accordingly. Everything I've done for this model has been in relation of the original sources and the GTC Expo conference. Like I've mentioned, being a TD requires to be tidy, informative, and accurate. I picked up a lot of experience from Softimash Eyes nodes, which are far complex than the shading nodes. We used to have complex functions being part of a larger complex routines and evaluations. Evidently, artistic stylization was required, so my job was to deliver the eye setup so it could be used for the effects department. You will find the same organization level for all of these projects, including the shaders. All of the nodes in this shader tree have been commented, so you will have an easy time understanding what does what. From start to end, this project bases this character with traditional styles and techniques from the anime industry. Here, you can see how the iridescence in the eye reacts to the light, accordingly. These are methods traditionally used in 3D models for games and anime in Japan, as well as light studies. Masking, therefore, plays a significant role in stylization for the shader. The setup for the texture, painting, and shader compositing will be done only using Blender tools. I've could have shown you how to do this on Photoshop, 3D Code, or Substance, but I think that if anyone could do this inside Blender, it is well worth showing it step by step. Even if you have an older Blender version for texture paint mode, you can still achieve this effect painting in the appropriate texture slot. 
In the course, I'll walk you briefly through the UV tools you have and some tricks that will help you feel confident with the UV layout tools in Blender. Editing normals as well as skin shading will be also shown in the video. Please be aware this is not content for kids, but for professional artists and studios using stylized shading. The methods shown in the training video will cover reference like this and explain why it is crucial to define a style beforehand. Artistic or flat skin are possible using Blender. Take in consideration that soft image is no longer available for use and that I am recreating as best as I can these techniques using Blender, which is not to be taken as a substitutional tool but rather as a real-time previewer for shading and effects using Eevee. The next training video will have this character available for your download under the CC4 license, which means you can use it for your own personal, commercial or gaming project. I wanted to create this model so you feel motivated to continue exploring the different possibilities to create a stylized shader in Blender's real-time viewport EV. Whatever content you got on related videos help you get here. You can help others too by clicking the like and subscribe button. We are all part of the same journey here in CG production. This has been a special sneak preview of what's to come in the full 4 part videos for stylizing shaders in Blender. By using these custom property controllers you will be able to switch the uniform color, the highlight color and of course other parts of the body such as hair and skin and I'm also thinking to switch some colors around the tool, the weapon as well. And for the next video I'll be presenting more traits of these special features including this special contrast for shadow. So everything has been laid out as in the previous videos mentioned here in the channel as well. You can check out how to paint in grayscale by Photoshop and those principles were applied here as well. I've been wrestling some of the key features of this shader by using this kind of techniques from 2D specifically. I've dedicated a very long journey from soft image to Blender, and I promised myself I would show these techniques to others in a solid training. For if I had the need to know them, but yet the process was very complex and intense, I knew that by presenting them in a congruent manner, it would pay off for you and your artistic goals. Let me know how this video and the model will help you achieve that in the comments section below. Thanks! A rigged open source model using color picker with textures!